What's going on you guys? It's your boy Tapper. Welcome back to another video. Now but before I do go ahead and go to today's video, I will be letting you guys know we'll be doing a $100 bond giveaway. Now we have about two to, uh, $45 bonds, also a $100 bond that equals up to $100. Now this will be going ahead and giving away to one lucky winner. Now boys, all you got to do is basically do four simple steps to me, which is like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications, and comment you guys' IG. And I promise you guys in today's giveaway, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. Your boy Chopper is out. Peace. Eat. All right, boys. So you guys know how I got the the arc worm. I actually just sold it. I actually just sold my arc worm for a bank. I got it for two trail, and Katizo bows go for legit. Well, this is his offer. He gave me four four point five bill, a Skatiza bow, and an Elder Maul. The Skatiza bow alone literally pays for the arc worm, and I legit just made like five hundred bill profit off that arc worm. Not bad. Oh yeah, boys. I forgot. Uh, he actually gave me a Yoshi as well, but we got about three point two. Okay, if I take this out, hold on, let me, I'll take this out. Then we have like two, th almost 300 bill worth of items that I've just been buying. And uh, I, I literally bought half of these items for like, basically like one third of the price. So I think I spent probably like 100 bill and I got a lot of these items back. Plus I sold my arc worm. Mind you, I did get my arc worm for about two trill and I literally got two trill in this Katiza bow and I actually got a Yoshi and I got 4.5 bill. 450 bill and an us Katiza bow for just my arc one that I got for two trails. So I'm easily making money. That's like, I legit made like over fucking two trail merch off that. That's crazy. All right, boys. So we got a nice little donation from Ran uh, Random Rainbow. We're going to go, uh, he's actually going to go ahead and sponsor a giveaway for next video. That's he giving us a scythe. So, boys, next video, we'll be going ahead and giving away a scythe as well to a lucky winner as well, boys. All right, boys, we got a couple of items that actually went ahead and sold. Uh, uh, let's see. We got about 42 bill. Not bad. We still have to sell the Scotizo bow and the Inquisitor Mace and the Yoshi. But, yeah, we're, we're, we're getting real close to a lot of items selling. Not, no cap. We're making a lot of money when you have money. All right, boys. So, the Scotizo Mace or the Scotizo bow is now sold for a 2.8 trill in the Elder Mall. I legit got the fucking artworm for legit two trill that made like a trill profit not bad thank you now boys look at the fucking bank now <laughs> six trill and we still have to sell all these fucking items i'm putting this in a giveaway put that in there but boys we got <laughs> we legit just made like a whole trill off one item oh my god and <laughs> and we still have to sell everything else like oh my god bro like this shit is bank i love having money <laughs> Also, boys, a couple of items have went on ahead and sold as well. All right, boys. So I do want you guys to know that uh, I'm going to. Ex okay. So as you guys know, I did buy the Inquisitor's Mace for a promo three, which sold for about 400 mil. What was sold about for 400 bill, and I also uh, gave him 200 bill cash for it, selling it for about 50 bill profit. Not fucking bad. Not bad at all. That's easy, easy, easy money. Legit easy money. Boy, we're about to hit seven trill. <laughs> we're legit about to hit seven trill. We still have our very fair in our bank. Oh my god, we just made so much money. Okay, okay. So before the gamble, my bank was around twelve trill. Twelve trill because I was a very fairy. Mm, well, no, okay, okay. My bank was around like ten, possibly, possibly ten. I think I've merged over like six trill in a day. That's just crazy. All right, boys, so a lot of money from our TP have sold. Uh, we're just waiting on th these little items to sell. We should be fine, but 60 bill, not bad. And I think our, uh, yeah, 60 bill, not bad. We're getting really close to that seven trail mark as well. All right, boys, so as you guys know, uh, this is probably like the next day. Now, when I bought all those items yesterday, or like when y'all last clip, that was like, uh, like last night, and it's the next day, and actually my Yoshi sold. So easy money, easy money. Easy money. Now we should be at almost, ooh, we're almost at seven trill cash. And we still have our very distant fairy, our Scotizo bow, our Grand Ring Eye, 
and we have to buy a pendant back because fucking dirt ball fucking smited me for it but like, what a retard but yeah we still we, we still have money plus we still have the jungle tunnel at the sell i'm thinking about honestly keeping it honestly let me know in the comments down below what you guys think i should do it gives drop rate it gives 10 percent drop rate and a five percent damage boost on npcs but you guys think i should keep it for like scatizo or daily scatizo do you guys think i should just go ahead and sell it let me know in the comments down below and i'll probably do what you guys say honestly because I, I really want to keep it at the same time if i can make profit out of it i'll just go ahead and sell it because that's how that's how i feel i feel like if i buy something i really wanted it but if somebody asks me for it or well, somebody wants to buy it for a, a bigger price than what i buy it for i'm selling that shit dog everything in my bank has a price on it if you get if you can give me the right price for it it's all it's gone Alright boys, so we got a terror that's actually about to go ahead and spawn. Uh, I'm not going to be merchant for a little bit. I just want to go ahead and play the game. Uh, kind of not bored. I want to just play. So we, we're, we're going to go ahead and show you guys a loot at Terra and see, and see what type of loot we can actually get. Considering the fact that we haven't did Terra at all this video. So here we go. Alright boys, so uh, Night Terra is about to go ahead and uh, despawn because we're exactly almost dead. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on with it. Let's see. Come on. Please. Z, we don't never get anything. All right, boys. So right after fucking nightmare despawns, I get a cursed bounty, oh, uh, a cursed mystery crate, and also blood, also uh, three blood diamonds. Not bad. <laughs> oh my god. All right, boys. So I normally just sell this type of shit, but I'm actually gonna, gonna open up for you guys. Cause I know a lot of people be like, "Yo, chopper, like, why you just don't open shit up?" But people always ask me like, "Why I don't open anything up? I always just sell it for money and stuff like that." And it's like it's no content when you just sell shit. So I'm actually just gonna open it up for y'all see what I can get. I know I can get the most bullshitted shit ever, but I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and see what I can get. Here we go. That's why I don't open up <laughs> Yo, that shit is a rip, bro. Like Ryan, dog. You need to do something about these crates, dog. That is ass. Like sitting that nightmare for about 30 minutes, I can get like three of those, dog. Like, come on, like, come Ryan, come on, bro. You can do better than these boxes, bro. Oh my god. All right, boys, so one thing I never really got to do, and I've had tons and tons of blood money, was unlock the blood perk tree. Now, well, I unlock more perks to, to, towards the blood perk tree. So I think we have to go to, where is it? Is it, okay, here we go. We have to unlock a lot more shit in here. Mm, I don't even know what I want to unlock. The blood staff, I don't really need the blood staff. Unholy smite. I, here, I'll be back once I find out what I'm actually going to do with the blood perk tree, but I have to unlock all this shit, so I'll be back. Okay, so the first one I'm just gonna help look unlock is this, cause I do be at blood revs a lot and I camp it, so I'm gonna, gonna unlock that. Uh, the next one is a, a blood war. I don't want that, cause it just gives me. Uh, you know what, bro? I got the blood diamonds. Fuck. I mean, the, the blood money. Fuck it. Um, arguing rigor slightly increases it. I can't even get it, but you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna just unlock the blood. This one too. What else? Uh, damn, I'm gonna. We have the ability to cast teleports. Hmm. That's 10k though. Fuck. Slightly increased recoil damage. Nah. Wait. I'm gonna unlock that. I ah, I see, bro. What is this? All of these are expensive though. I don't think I have enough for anything else. Yeah, I don't. Fuck me. Yeah, that's all we can fucking upgrade for right now. But damn. I've never really unlocked the blood prey tree. That, that's crazy. All right, boys, so there's a nightmare boss actually gonna go ahead and spawn. I'm gonna go ahead and make some more money. But knowing me, my luck is trash, so I probably wouldn't make shit <sighs> possible. It's always, my, my, my luck is dirt, so, you know. I probably won't make no money, but I'll be back once the content. Oh, okay, it's spawned. I'll be back once nightmare is almost dead and I can see what I got. Also, boys, oh my God, hold on. Oh, I Z, bro. Let me go ahead and show you guys. I've legit, I just want y'all, I just want y'all to see this. I've legit killed Nightmare 56 times and never got a loot. So let's go ahead and see what we can get. Please, please, please. I Z. A fucking bounty cake, bro. My fucking God. All right, boys. So uh, we got a Nightmare finna go ahead and spawn. So I'll be back when the loot is actually about to go ahead and be itself. Let's go ahead and see if we can actually get a loot. Now I'll be surprised if we do. So here we go. All right, boys, so here we go. It's despawn. Loop, loop, loop. Nope. I see. All right, boys, so I'm chilling at Mythic, and I actually just got uh, an amulet of Avarice uh, from out of the Mythical Blood Revenants. Not bad at all. Um, you guys are going to probably be seeing a lot more uh, Mythic uh, mythic content, to be honest, because I want to go ahead and start possibly starting to camp Skatizo for a while. And plus, I do need to go ahead and do my daily Skatizo kill after I kill this last Mythic Revenant. So I'll be back to show you guys that as well. Now, I do want you guys to know, 
I, um, a lot of people don't really know about the totem, but the totem gives you guys 10% drop rate. And right now my drop rate is at 215, and I'm literally at Mythic just chilling with all the drop rate items that I have on as well. So if you guys are not, well, if you guys don't know about the, the damn the damn jungle totem, I suggest you guys try to get one because right now they're going for really really cheap. They're going for like a trill. So if you guys can get one for a trill, well, you guys will be making bank because eventually these shits are going to go up because not a lot of people do the uh, jungle demon. So yeah, just keep it up, bros, because like this is going to be something that's going to be expensive as hell in the, in the later night. That's why I never really tried to sell it. I always just just I always just kept it in the bank. So I end up just buying a Scotizo uh, Scotizo man to just keep the totem. I want to go ahead and use that for those two as well. But I'm actually going to oh, I'm actually going to go ahead and show you guys the. Uh, Scotizo kill as well, so I'll be back with the kill. All right, boys. So Scotizo's about to go ahead and die right about now. Did I get anything? Nope. Didn't get a damn thing. That's why I don't do these shits. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna camp. I'm gonna camp Scotizo for a little bit to show you guys what you guys can possibly get from it. But let's go ahead and see what we can get from from like more totems. I can collect any.